morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, the 26th of February, 2024. It's a Monday. Oh, my God. This is Mel from Everything Marmy. And I am going to do the finishing touches on the Sunday Reset for this EDC, which is uh, what I call the KISS system. And this is the last week in this book. So I wanted to just show you sort of, why not, like what I'm doing with it. Just sort of cutting some pages. I'm using this um, Leo cutting board, writing board, whatever, to help guide me because I do not cut straight at all. <laughs> And I need help that way, so that's fine. So, how is everybody? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Did you guys, like, find it short? Because I did. Um, I always find... I always find the weekend short, and I always think that we do it wrong. I, I think two days is too short. I think we need three days. And um, especially if you've got children that are in school, because I remember, I remember trying to um, get everything done and I could never get everything done. You know what I'm saying? Because by the time you spent one day cleaning, prepping, shopping, etc., and then all your friends and your family wanted to see you. There's your two days. Where's the day where you just sit at home and relax? So, you know, this is why I know it's so hard for people. Because I remember. <laughs> Thank gosh. Um, I might have lost some of my short-term memory, but I still have my long-term memory. So what I'm doing here, guys, is this is observations. Okay, this is the last week of the month. I'm not going to want to honestly, write down my observations. And if I do, I can put on a sticky tab. What I want to do is um, just put sort of like a, a memory kind of board that that is similar, I suppose. Similar, you'll see on the next one beside it, um, like a 2024 vision board, but a memory board of what sort of been going on. So um, I just went into Pinterest and found one that was close to who I represent. Um, not to say that all of the elements do, um, but it says like recording, uh, New York, I wanna go there. These are jeans I wear all the time. I have smoothies, laundry I'm doing all the time. I love houses, um, to live for the hope of it all. Um, so I, I just found basically, um, images that were in a cluster that reminded me of what, what is worth fighting for in life. You know what I'm saying? What is worth, not, not necessarily like living for, but, um, why am I doing what I'm doing? So I've got two vision boards here, which is kind of funny, right? Because I, I bought all those vision boards, but I have like been working on a different project. So I don't know, like I wish this child of God was over here because I really like the colors of this one. But you know what? Honestly, like... I think our actions prove more than anything what life goes. I don't want to cut that side. Um, I think our actions prove a lot more than anything else what we stand for. And, um, you know, as I've said before, I'm not here to preach to anybody or anything. But I do try to do good. I try to be kind and like, I try not to judge others, although it happens. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys something that isn't true, 
I try not to though. Uh, I've got my eye there because um, I've had trouble with my eye, but I do want to see more clearly. That's why that's there. Um, and let's face it, I'm just, it's not going to all fit in, is it? That eye is really important. It's important to see what's around us too, right? So it's really symbolic. So these pages are going to be like clutter looking. I'm going to give you like a flip of this week before I begin in it. And then we're going to see how much time we have left over. And I know a lot of you guys really enjoy, like, when I do this, like, decorate this book. Uh, this book, um, most of you know, but if you're new, I want to welcome you all uh, to Mel's crazy, like, channel, where I flub words. I have, like, um, I'm the first one to admit that I'm neurodivergent. I have a lot of things going on in my backpack, but at the same time, I'm perfectly okay with it because we are all perfectly imperfect. Uh, I generally talk about everything. Um, and I said generally because there's still things I'm working on that I don't talk about. And uh, the reason I don't talk about them is because when I hear the word trigger, what I think of sometimes is like trigger for memories that aren't good. Um, but I'm working on them and I've been working on them for well over a decade because uh, of my hopes of being a better um, person, especially a better mother, um, which has been my ultimate goal in life is to be a better mother. So I, I've done quite a bit on this book already. I've been up for some hours and I don't really like the look of this page the way I've done it. So I'm going to cover that one up too. But I want to use like a fun one. So we're going to pull this stuff all off. I had some like notes here, but isn't that pretty? It's kind of cute, but I don't know if I have another one. Oh, good, I do. Because I just love like these kind of colors here. I wonder which would look better where. Let's, um, where is that board? See? My goodness. I love just bright colors like that. And we're coming into spring. And honestly, I cannot wait. Like one minute, I've been really warm. It's like I'm going through menopause all over again. And guys, I've been going through menopause since I lost my entire system at 33. There's no reason for me to go through it again. And yet... My body temperature has been like crazy. I can't seem to regulate it. These pieces here I do keep. So I just kind of put them off to the side. And I do like that dog. There's a turtle in there. That kind of represents me. I've been really bad with my diet this week. Oh my goodness. All it's been is carbs all week long. And the reason is, is because carbs are the only thing like bread and like rice cakes and noodles and um, like nothing with scents, like smells or anything are the only thing that's been helping me with my medications and keeping it down. And um, it's so... Uh, bad. So I've put on like weight, which the doctors think is good, but I don't because it's the wrong kind of weight. It's not a healthy kind of weight. So I've got to balance out my diet this week. I wasn't taking any vitamins last week. So literally last week, um, it doesn't surprise me that my moods were kind of all over the place because my diet was crap. Literally crap. Now, will that one fit? No. See, every time I do that, it needs a little bit more off. 
so yeah, that's, that's one thing I've got to work on this week is like being more strict with myself about having a more variety, um, or more variety in my diet, but sometimes I just can't eat. So I go to a piece of toast, but then, um, because this medication I'm on guys, oh my God, like it's terrible. So I have to, I absolutely have to make sure I'm doing all the steps involved. And it's so, it's like a full-time job, my God. Um, and our bodies should be, right? Like, I mean, if anything, our bodies are our vessel. We, we, we take it for granted when we're younger. Gosh, I remember, you know, working three jobs when I was a kid and... Well, I kind of had to, right? I kind of had to. Um, and they were part-time and going to school and um, like going days literally without sleep. It was crazy. And I... I'm at the point now where I look back and I think, geez, you know, all of that stress that I went through as a kid, and I'm talking, you know, 15, 16, right? Like it was just completely unnecessary and nobody should really have to do that. But um, I don't think I took care of myself. Well, I was, I was into sports, but I mean, you know, we we didn't have like... A lot of money for glorified diets back then either I remember my mom going to the farm and she'd like buy like everything in bulk carrots and potatoes and like whatever it was like turnips or whatever and I mean we ate we ate properly I mean enough but it wasn't variety and fruit was a treat so I mean there was a lot of fruit trees we picked fruit um, and I love apples to this day because apples was always a treat. It was always a treat. Those are just notes from a course I was taking, guys, in case you're wondering. But I don't need them there because I have them on another page. Okay. So isn't that nice? Like, it's just bright and vibrant. And then this is the cleaning page. And since I have much less appointments this week. Um, I'm just gonna stick all these sticky tabs over here so I know where they are. And I didn't date this cleaning one. So I'll do that quick because, what's well, all of this? Look at that Monday, like, what is that? So yeah, I usually do now, like I usually do Sunday resets on my own. But sometimes like I don't get to all of it. And last week it was just um, crazy. Just crazy. I was surviving last week I, literally to have 13 appointments. You know, so I I don't think I've ever had that many appointments in my life. But when I look around my home, I'm impressed because with that kind of amount of appointments, I like I would think my house would be a shambles. Mind you, I did uh, film this table in the area around it, which motivated me to clean it. <laughs> and then like my OCD kind of kicked in and I went to my kitchen, my bathroom, my bedroom. Like I just went for hours and then I went for another walk. So I went stiffen up that night. I had a good sleep. And then now I'm like, okay, I think I can face this week. Um, but it's like that, right? We do our best and some weeks we 
barely get through it. And some other weeks we just survive it. Okay, so that's my cleaning tab. And then I'm left with summary journal. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pages I can journal here. Or commonplace or notes. So even after two months, this will still have paper in it. But I don't like that tab. So we're going to replace that. What do I want to do for a tab? Hmm. That's not the one. This is the one where I've got all my tabs in it. I think I just want to do a clear one. Did I close it? I think I did. I should stand up and make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. So I have been thinking that um, even though I've been doing um, books for a while, I'll still do books, but I've been looking at my, um, like I've been filming practically every day. I think there's been like two or three days where I haven't. So what I want to start doing now, guys, is um, getting into like junk journaling a little bit more for those that really want to go into junk journaling. All of these bits, by the way, just a quick little interruption, are going in my um, little book here. I use these strips all the time, and as you can see, I've been keeping up with her. The one that just fell was last year's. And um, so I've got 10 pages, and I want to indicate that somewhere. How am I going to do that? Hmm. How am I going to do that? Let's put this writing board. But, oh, I haven't even got the thing on it. So what I had done too, sorry guys. Um, I wonder, like how do I, I want to kind of mark that that's journaling. Let's see if I've got any vellum. I don't want to really use that one because I took it with all the spots. People will throw stones at you. Don't throw them back. Collect them all and build an empire. This was done on Tomoe River paper. It's super like, thin. This is just um, scrapbook paper. Yeah, I was watching... That says autumn. There we go. There's, I, I really want to go to Paris. Don't ask me why. I really do want to go to Paris. For the longest time. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to put a piece of vellum in there and mark that. My daughter says she doesn't have any desire to go to Paris. So it might be one of those trips where I say, you know what, well, I'll go by myself. Or I'll say to the community, hey, you guys are all interested. Let's go meet somewhere because it won't be for a couple of years. But wouldn't that be fun? Paris, for me as a writer, has been some place I've always wanted to go, especially the 1920s. Um, Paris, like I know that doesn't exist today, but still, I 
I've always wanted to go, go to the French shops, um, and just see, like, see with my own eyes that kind of world. There's the biggest rat population in Paris right now, uh, in the world, I believe. Last I looked, but rodents don't bother me, and they won't come after you unless, you know, they're starving and you've got food and you fall asleep or whatever. Like, they don't. And I know, like, rodents are shy. But in France, they do come out in the, um, in the light of day kind of thing. They do. And it scares a lot of people, but it sure doesn't scare me. Rodents don't scare me at all. I'm just putting that stuff up there. We'll tip this in with just tape. Put it back in its book. I'll give you a flip through. But yeah, that's what I want to do. Like for me. So like I said, my daughter, she's going to uh, Japan. I have no desire to go to Japan. There's nothing really for me there. But I do want to go to Paris. I've always wanted to go to Europe. Always, always, always. Now this one's interesting because I did it this way, but what are you doing now? What are you doing? I've been having a hard time with dexterity. Is that going to fit in? And because I hooped that part up too, it kind of Yeah, somebody was mentioning that on the Villa Beautiful envelopes to add my own Velcro. I actually have on my other envelopes that I've gotten, so it was a good idea, but I already have. I was just suggesting it to Tiffany um, because I, I do find those um, strings when you have dexterity problems, it's, it's difficult. So then this in here is just all like commonplace notes and stuff. So I'm just going to pin all of this stuff off with a nicer pin than that. We'll use this one. Come on, get in there. There we go. You missed a page, that's why. A couple of pages. But then if I want to come in here and, like, add some more stuff. But, like, <clears throat> there's been giveaway, like, addresses and stuff put in here. So I want to be very careful with that. And then I'm just going to use a piece of washi at the bottom. Because washi... two pieces. Washi is uh, beautiful in the sense that it doesn't like permanently stick down. And I also put on this book, I also put, um, I called it masking tape before, but what I meant was like postal tape, the clear tape on oh no <laughs> you know what I did guys one second Sorry, I had moved this box to the top and all of the, like these items were in there that I want to put in for my junk journaling. And I just literally, like when I grabbed, it needs an elastic. <laughs> real life, folks, like real life. So when I grabbed this 
tape, the packing tape. I said masking tape, but I meant like packing tape. And that's my hand cream. And like I have more here, like junk journal stuff. So I'll just put that under here. And yeah, like I'm, I'm going to do at least once a week, like a junk journal with me. So I'm going to spread out a little bit more. I know that I've been getting requests to sort of like do more projects. My channel is Everything Marmy. Um, so it's not restricted to planners, guys. So that way, if you're just here for the planners, you'll know, know it's about... Um, It'll be about like junk journaling. I just do it for fun. I have a lot of projects. I have altered books projects. I have, um, you know, rings, strings, planners, art books, art journaling. Um, you guys all saw me bring in that Jane Davenport stuff. I have a lot of stuff on the go and I don't want to feel like restricted to just planners on this channel. Now, this page here definitely, in my mind, needs something. And then I'll do the flip. And I'm just hoping that I don't have to cut anything. Let's see what's in this pile here. These are all my sticker backings. Some, like, papers. And you can tell just by looking that I am, like, seriously, a junk journaler by nature to have all of these, like, random things, right? Like, people don't have these scraps, if you will, if you're just, like, a clean, and by clean, I mean, like, a, like, everything's so nice and pretty and whatnot. Like, I don't have that. I'm more of a anything goes but I want like a nice back page there that's kind of nice that's kind of nice that's a good summary is it not I think it is okay let's do that let's get a Good pair of scissors and the board. I think I could do this one on my own because it just looks like I could. I just really need like, like a guideline. This one, see, I don't like these little but that's because they're from Pinterest and they're not my art, guys. So, because they're not my art. But I do want... It's super pretty. So we're going to cut this side down. So that the back page looks nice. And I didn't actually make a pocket out of this one, which is unusual, so... Um, so I'm going to have to remove that and put washi for the moment. Washi is probably the better idea anyway. Of course, I just ripped it. Because that'll leave a big hump. That, this, this paper clip will leave a big hump. <clears throat> So I'm going to try my walk with my other earphones today. Oh my goodness, yesterday I was so frustrated. I did a long walk, a really long walk. And my phone, because it was just peeing out rain, my phone kept changing like... Once I listened to my video, I put on music and my phone was jumping all around. It wasn't staying on the playlist I wanted it to. And I thought, okay, you know what? Like first I addressed, okay, listen, if 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 there's a demon following me, goodbye, not interested. 
<laughs> and I know how stupid that sounds to a lot of you, but like, seriously. And then I was like, okay, if my jacket's like wet or something, like, okay, where, where is the back? Like this, sorry guys. As you can tell, I am quite, you know, I don't know. You got to be crazy to be creative. So maybe that's just what I am, but it doesn't bother me. Um, I just say it how it is. Oh my God. What is going on, Mel? That's the second one. This is new washi. Like I just, I just ordered this. So I know it's not old. And, and they need it for the width. Although, let's see. Okay, let's let's not frustrate ourselves. I have wider washi, and I'll go to that. This is what I've been trying to tell myself lately, because instead of getting upset or annoyed over something, like, seriously, I could just be... in a different state of mind and choose to move on. Choose. <laughs> I used to wake and choose joy. And I just dropped it on the floor. And then choose to share it. And lately, I'm telling you, I don't know. I think it's a medication, guys, to be honest. Um, this medication is making me want to, like, I don't know. I wouldn't want to meet me on the streets. <laughs> um, it's almost like my training has come back like I'm hyper vigilant and I'm like okay guys like really this medication is not supposed to be doing this um, but it is because it really hoops up every um, bit of the hormonal aspects I suppose of your system at least that's my guess. Now this is going to be like an awful mess. I've wrinkled it here, but whatever. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Let's try to make that fit. You never know what you're gonna get on my channel, guys. You just never know. <laughs> One thing is for certain, I will drop something. And the video will be long. And nothing goes according to plan, ever. There's always a compromise, like that one. Like, why, why won't that one cut? So I like that on the back page. We're just going to simply use glue. I don't know where I put my other glue stick. And it's probably somewhere obvious. Probably put it in a pencil case or something, but I do have this uh, temporary one, so washable Elmer's, <laughs> Elmer's glue. Okay. Let's get this on. I'll give you guys a flip. And we'll move on. What are we doing for time? 30. 33 minutes. My eyes are getting really bad again. And that kind of chokes me. I just got glasses. And, um, yeah. Like, I need reading glasses now. And, Aging sucks, you guys. It really, truly does. I'm going to take some of this. Sorry if it makes a noise and annoys you. Pardon me, pardon me, but this is a trick. I want this page to stay. So, I'm just going to cut that down. And also, if I want to put stickers on here, I can do that. Sorry about the sound. I know it's really loud. But three pieces tend to do it. Maybe four in this case.
<clears throat> this is the same thing I did um, to the outside of the book as well. See, and why did that not? Sorry, that's like really super annoying. If I'd known I was going to do that, I would have done it off camera. But I know a lot of you like to know how I do these kind of things, and it's not hard. Um, come here. So, yeah, I'm left with all of this tape up here, right? So, first of all, what I want to do with this tape is cut that part down. Because that's through the back area. And I've already dealt with that. So, let's get that out of the way. I should have been, like, I don't know. An elementary school teacher. I wouldn't say kindergarten, even though I loved little kids, but you know, grade six, grade seven, when their hormones started coming in, I'd have been really good with that because I understand that phase very well. Let's see what's going on down here. And for a long time, people told me, you know, you, you'd make a great teacher, but you know, I don't know. The thing about being a teacher to somebody else's children is that there's so many different ways that a child learns and I've always been a different learner like I've been a visual learner I want you know I want to learn you know my own way so there I've literally encapsulated like 25 pages so if I want to come back and find out what's in here it's a mystery okay so let's get it back in its case and I will give you a flip through because that took a long time where is the case? <clears throat> right here. Like a washi is down here. And another card is over here. Everything's thrown everywhere. And I don't want anything on this. I, uh, that's cute though, isn't it? Yeah. I don't like things on my floors. <laughs> and when it does get on my floor it bothers me oh see I could have made a pocket and put things in there let me show you how I do that very quickly not hard at all guys not hard at all so let's take this again sorry about the noise but because it's like packing tape it's the strongest tape I can think of so I'm just going to take a piece off. And these packing tapes really gum up your scissors. So you have to wash them afterwards. You just need two pieces. And then to close it up, like I said, I use like a paper clip. So I always have the ability to get a tape because nothing frustrates me more. Now I have a hole punchy thing. And I want to come in here and I want to punch a hole. Now, if you don't have one of these, just use a hole of any kind and make, um, like I have a circle one upstairs. I got a whole bunch of these things because I craft guys. Well, I used to craft a lot more. So let's put this guy here. doesn't have to be pretty and it's never going to be not with me and then I just bring it up here you can already see how shiny it is because I've already been doing the masking tape or the packing tape not masking tape no we've discovered that or discussed that it's not if you're new I'm sorry I I, I say things wrong um one letter does make a difference, and I have an issue with uh, pronunciation and um, words coming out wrong. It's like a speech impediment. So please let me know in the comments how many of you would be interested in, uh, n not that it will change what I choose to do on my channel, because it won't, but how many of you would like to see um 
junk throw away. So there's a pocket. And I like that because when this is all said and done, like for example, I've got some stickers here that I want to use. These came from Daphne's Diary. So I can just now just slide those in here. Like that. Okay, and then I've got it in this. This was just from Amazon, this cover. Get that out of the way. I do want to kind of give you a flip. So by the time we're done all this, my goodness. She is thick, and um, this is the third B6 I've done since July of this system. This system, of course, is Monique Smith's system over at Monique Plans. It's an adaptation, actually, of her system, and now this is going to be a little tough getting it in the back pocket because I have made a double pocket back there. But I already had like this one made up. I wasn't going to do it. I had this one made up and I had an A5 previously made up like for journaling. And then like I was lost without this book. I wasn't going to do it because I'm a creature of habit, you see. And I, I thought, well, I don't want to keep using her, her book. I mean, what is this one here? Okay, that can come off. Because that's just about where the book ends. Actually, it's still a good sticky. I can keep that. This is a Leo. I really wanted to do another something with you guys as well, but I don't know if I'll have time. What is stuck to that? Okay. Will that even fit now in the back with that pocket? I might have to move it to the front. I might have to. Yeah, I think I will. It makes a big difference when you double up on the pockets and stuff like that. I might not even be able to fit it at all. But it should fit up here. There we go. Okay, so let's do a flip. And I'm going to turn you guys ever so slightly. And get this stuff out of the way. So I've done nothing. I haven't done my morning pages or like I call them first thoughts, not morning pages. Morning pages I do separately. Um, they're a Julia Cameron, three three pages minimum of, of handwriting when you wake up. I do those completely separately. So, so here is week, I called it week five and it starts here. Okay. And these were done on Tomoe River paper. I put, um, and I will be doing an entire book flip probably, I don't know, next week. So don't worry about the rest of the book. Um, but that's how she starts. That's how I want to be. Um, and then I put some of this beautiful, these are from Pinterest, guys. And then this is First Thoughts. This is Brain Dump. And I did tip in this work desk vellum because I had it. So Brain Dump goes to there. And then this is the food log. And I did not, as I'm noticing, I did not date this. And I'm going to have to take it out of the cover because there's no way with that huge hump here, I'm going to be able to properly write in this thing. So that's my food log. This is my health log. I do have a separate Hobonichi. Oh, no. That's two. Pr 
crashes, you guys. Because I'm telling you, um, there's no because I'm just, yeah, I do have a separate health log and it's all pen to paper and it's all up to date as well. Okay, don't fall, guys. No more falling. So that's my health log. I just basically put the basics in here. Here is my weekly, which is like from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, my habits, my mood. I usually highlight something. Habits. This is my sleep. This is my mood. These are my steps. This is total, that's new. And then goals for the week moods to look at, and overall week. So that is from Peanuts Planner Co. I've just like literally flipped the pages. Okay, so this is the successes, difficulties, and spending, planner-related spending. Okay. This is uh, Planner Play, which is which books do I touch every day? This is joy and gratitude. Um, I could put one thing, one thought, one memory, or I could do a list. This is social media. I do really want to get on Instagram more. I know a lot of you have been messaging me, asking to put pictures up. What do you guys do about the hashtags? Do you even bother? Tell me, please. Like Because I find the hashtags slow me down. That's why I don't do it. I don't have time for them. And I literally don't have time for them. Um, then currently, that's currently. Because if I want to write, I'll just put a sticky over top. You glow differently when you're ha actually happy. And it's true. Uh, people know when you're you're happy. You're yourself a priority. Make yourself a priority, I guess. And then this is uh, another page that was Improve. And I just, I did these on sticker paper and I didn't want to throw it out. So, uh, Grow in Health. My word is grow. So, Grow in Health. And then I just, you know, put some tippins and stuff. Like, it's not my favorite page, but whatever. Then these are the dailies. The reason that's up there like that is because I literally just stapled it. Again, going back to like um, junk journaling. So I know that I'm ready for it. These are the days of the week. This one is the review of the weekly. And I usually do that. Did I even do that? Yeah, like this. So that when I go to do my weeks and my planner tests and all of that, I've got it. My observations, again, um, it's just pictures. Um, this is cleaning. And then this is the journaling here. So that's it. That is the last week in this book. Here I will get it all done. Um, yeah. She is a thick one, and I'm just going to use an elastic band to keep her closed at this point because, yeah, if I don't, she's going to be all over the place. It is a thick one. Okay, so what are we at for time? We're at 49 minutes. We're going to do this super fast, guys. This is the... Um, Hobonichi Cousin. <clears throat> I showed you guys how I went down to the end of the month with the scriptures. I haven't done any for March yet. There's uh, the monthly December, January, February. I haven't finished February yet. I will be. And then March is something I have to do. So I'm going to flag that. Most of this stuff will be done off camera. 
because I don't have, like, I mean, if I was to do everything on camera, guys, my goodness. So these are the weeklies. I've done, like, a variety of different kinds of weeklies. That was the last week. Okay, and considering I had 13 appointments last week, it uh, was a pretty amazing for me. Now, this week we have this kit. So from Pookie Bear Cuties, we're gonna keep it fairly simple. <clears throat> I have seven appointments, but Um, I, yeah, we'll see. Do they fit? Why don't they fit? So I'm going to do what I do normally because otherwise it takes forever. So what I do is... Come down here and just cut. So, which ruins the look, unfortunately, but... See, and I've still, like, got way too much room. I'm getting stuck. I would think that Pookie Bear Cuties would know the size of the Hobonichi Cousin. I don't know what they're making these for. Because Robin from Talks from the Heart, she buys from them all the time. And um, she's never said that these are too long. All the time I've ever seen her do it. Now she may have, but um, I've never really seen her do it. To me, they're too long. But if you just, like, cut them down like I just did. <clears throat> so I had to take off, like, I don't know. I don't even know. How much is that? About a quarter of an uh, quarter of an inch, yeah. Okay, so that's <clears throat> that's the main part, and then where are the tweezies? These are crap. I really need to invest in a new pair. Um, so twenty six. is today. Twenty-seven. I'm just happy to be using these kits up. I've had them forever. And this particular kit isn't made for this month. It's made for a normal month. Twenty-ninth. And then we are into March. Making sure I did that right. Yeah. Yeah, I did my way in this morning and I was not happy, folks. Not happy at all. I don't mind if it's muscle, but I know it wasn't. Like, I know it was a carb load kind of thing. Um, so we're going to keep this so super simple. I mean, there's literally no deco here at all. And it makes me want to go and find some deco because there's no deco. So since there's butterflies and whatnot, let's see if we can't find some with butterflies. There's some planners, but we gotta kind of go with these colors. 
that's the Jane one. Here they go. They kind of go. I love the Jane one. Yeah, we could do that. Let's do that. Okay. And that sticker book was from Alley Cat Sticker Shop. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to just put down the appointments that I know in the boxes. So, today I have two appointments. One is here. These stickers too big as well. And then I have to be at the clinic for four. Um, there's four. You know, I, I, I'm not going to actually... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it this way because, like, these, these boxes take up way more room. Okay, and then I have 11 o'clock up here on Tuesday. Don't you be doing that. And then I have a one o'clock. So I'm just going to bring it. Um, hmm. This is what I mean, guys. Like, it's not going to look very good, but whatever. Oh, crooked. I have to stand up or they're crooked. Like, how do you guys do this without it being crooked? I don't know. I actually need the graph lines. Um, and then Wednesday, I have... Let's use the butterfly. It's 9.30, which I hate with all my being to me driving around. So one, two, three, four, five. Thursday. Six, one o'clock. And Friday. At what time? Um, I actually have eight because I'm picking my daughter up from the ferry at 8.30, so 20.30. And then I have one. This one's a long one. It's a scan at the hospital at this horrible hour of 7 a.m. Friday. Oh, how am I going to do that? My routine? I don't know. So then... I'm going to say we're going to celebrate the weekend because we are, trust me. And that's pretty much like, like for the Pookie Bear Cooties, I don't know. Like there's a couple of like trackers. I do want to track my vitamins. I do like the, the trackers quite a bit. And I do want to track my water intake. And what else have they got on here? Laundry day. I don't have a day for laundry, but um, trash day tends to be Monday. But I already took it out. So it'll probably be Wednesday. You know what? I'm just going to leave these. Let's get in these beautiful boxes down here. I love these. Just love those. And I 
I just, I don't even think when I'm doing these guys. Honestly, I don't even think. Like I just put them wherever I think they will look good. Look at this cutie pie. Look at him. So cute. And then I've got Billy. <laughs> I call him Billy. He's going to go there. Because this weekend's going to be a whole lot of nothing going on. And then I've got a chicken. Where are we going to put you, chicken? I'm going to cut the chicken in half because i got a chicken. And I've got laundry. So we'll put the chicken down here. We'll put the hat up here because, of course, I got to get going and do my stuff. And then there's a couple more trackers which I could use. So I've got one for vitamins for water, um, steps, and. I've been working on writing and editing and stuff, so let's keep track of that. And then, yeah, I think one of these here. I don't even know what these are. Are those washies? Yes, they are. one's really long. Now I'm going to switch. I don't want to take up that poor sheep. So yeah, I hope when I'm listening, I'm going to have to, like I said, a, a Either order a new pair of like earphones or headphones because the ones I bought were specific for, and that's where I was kind of choked too this weekend is that, you know, like when you're told by a doctor that you have something and you go out and you spend this money on equipment and then you find out you did, you, oh, like you guys like, I know you're out there and I know, I know people have like been experiencing this and I find it so frustrating that we have to do this. Like, why are we being diagnosed with crap to get medicine and spending money on, on things that we don't need because somebody doesn't know their job? Like it just drives me absolutely batty. So I don't even know what these things are. What are these things? Are those washi too? Hmm. These are, in fact, washi, too. Well, I, you know what I could do? I can write on those. So, let's do that. Where's the ruler? Because I have an early morning. Holy. So that looks like crap there, but whatever. And then I've got another one, so we'll, hmm. okay, well, we'll fill that in there. And then I've got this one, which we'll put down here. Just like that. And we got more of this one. we can put here. What are these guys? Crooked. <laughs> I like underlining them 
Like that's how it feels, like you're being underlined or marked to amplify them in some way. Like this poor butterfly one here, you can't really see it. So then I would come along and like make it pop. And so those numbers are good. And I'm just gonna write like today, these are way too long. So these have to be cut down. I'm going to read it for time. An hour and five minutes. About time I wrapped her up. Yeah, so not too bad today. I mean, I could put all these appointments in. That looks terrible, Mel. Of course it does, because for some reason... Nothing goes down straight. But that's because it belonged up here anyway. I'll just get these little bits off to do. I really wish I didn't have to do this. Like, I'd love them to be cut. If I didn't have to do that. I don't want to do it all the way through, but I have enough to do that all the way through, which I will on my own. And then I just want to see here daily spending. See, these are all muted, basically. I like this one here, though. So I'm going to use this as a chore kind of list here. And like these are kind of cute too. I like the green one. Again, it makes everything kind of pop. And then the gray one. And also, I'm going to do this because I definitely don't want to forget that one. And by pulling in that green, I need to pull in some green over here. So we'll pull in some green here. So that's it. And then I will do all the writing in later. I'm going to take the two days and go right across. Um, same with the to-dos. So I'll sprinkle them around. But... Essentially speaking, once my daughter comes on the weekend, she and I, and what is this one? Little bits next week, important. Uh, cups of tea. Yeah. I, I wish there was something I could put there, like little things. She loves to go to, like, houses, so maybe we'll... We'll do that. She loves to go and like, um, maybe we'll go to the animal farm too. It's just a small little like animal farm. <clears throat> I'm going to put important here. Just when you think you got rid of me and I'm like, here I am. But I think, you know, having these in the background kind of amplifies everything. See how long this today actually is if I use it. Hmm. And then of course all, all the bills are due between this week. So this was last week. Let's just clean up a little bit so I can show you. So yeah, this guys and you could tell I took this thing off because this I didn't like it so this was last week's the week before and the week before that was and now this is this week I had 13 appointments in here 
hidden. <laughs> and seven here plus picking up my daughter. So I'll fill that out on my own time. And that's it. So between um, the Hobonichi cousin and the um, monthly book, the EDC, the KISS system, which is Keep It Simple Stupid, not my not my acronym, the military's acronym. Um, we are good to go. This one does have a pocket if you're new. Uh, it does have a pocket. I built it in the front. So this one has it in the back. This one has it in the front. And that is basically, these were the pens that I used. The mild liner is a... I don't know one of these new colors i love it though and then this is the uni ball tri pen and this is a bic velocity 1.6 millimeter pen that i've been using so that's everything folks please remember guys that we are all perfectly imperfect you are all loved wanted needed far far more than you will ever know and i will talk to you later have a great fun fascinating day and don't forget to like this video, please, and to put in the comments if you are one of those people that want to see some junk journaling stuff. I'm going to do it anyway, but I just want to know if you're out there. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.